At some point, just one thing went our way, she'd still be here today. The judges just need to know that until they can get this stuff straight, they don't need to let these people out of, out of jail because they're killing people. He blames Judge Cheryl Blackburn for his daughter's death. He says Blackburn let his daughter's alleged abuser, Bryson Rivers, out of jail by lowering his bond back in June, a decision that sparked a chain of miscommunication that led to bond companies putting wrong restrictions on Rivers' ankle monitor. He allegedly left the state, found and killed Johansson's daughter days later. She was treated inhumanely. And uh, I think we found today that yes, the bonds aren't high enough. And then when we make a bond, the bond's not being ordered, okay? And then when we order the bond, the person can't remember to give them the bond order. During the hearing, Johansson learned that the bond company signed off on Rivers' bond conditions, but never saw or were shown the court order that says that he was supposed to stay in Davidson County and get an ankle monitor with a specific company. I just want to let them know that, you know, to think, think twice before they let these people out. It's very disappointing that the system's this way, and sometimes systems need to all have meetings to, to talk about these things.